There's Lord everybody. God bless you. This is Troy Alexander. Today is November 17th, 2016. And we're going to start with the word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this day that you've given us. We give you glory. God, and we give you honor right now, Lord God. It's unto you, God, that we say thank you for everything, God, that you've done and what you're about to do, God. And we're going to give you praise right now, God, in advance. In your wonderful name, Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you tonight. We're going to start with the reading of our project, I Am, and then we're going to just share an encouraging word with you tonight. Uh, the, the project I Am is I Am, don't see it, but still, I am. Regardless of what time it is, regardless of where the situation is right now, God is still God. Your ability is not a qualifier for the passing of this test. God has already spoken. And it is the only prerequisite that needs to exist because when you trust in that and you lift your hands anyhow, that is called faith. There is no one else that is greater than God. I don't care what it is. God is greater. Let me make it very clear. God has the final say, period. I hear what they say. I hear what they say, but God's going to have the last say. Even at the cross, he still had all power. When he was in the tomb, Jesus still had all power because he is all powerful. All power is in his hand. And he went on to say this, just to make sure that they understood, he decided to get up out the tomb to let them know that all power belongs to him. Then he went on to say, God made you a promise. So get ready. Why? Because it's about to show up. The promises of God is about to show up in your life. I'm coming from the book of Numbers tonight, chapter 20, and I'm going to read verse 7 and 8. And it says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the rod and gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron, thy brother, and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes, and it shall give forth water, and thou shalt bring forth them unto the water out of the rock, so that thou give to the congregation and their beasts to drink. Let me make it very clear. The Lord told Moses to go to the rock and to speak to the rock. Now, he was talking to, to him and Aaron. Now, listen, what they did is another story. But the point is, God told them to go to the rock. What they needed came from the rock. It didn't come from over there. It didn't come from over there. It's so, so Sometimes we think that it's got to come this way or got to come that way. God said, I am the way. And whatever way God tell you to go, you just go. May not sound right, may not even look right. But if God said go, you better go. God told them to go to the rock and the water came out the rock. At the end of the day, they were their, their thirst was quenched. So were their beasts quenched. God allowed the water to come from the rock. Let me say that again. The water came from the rock. He made the rock a faucet. Like we turn it on here now in the kitchen or, or in the back. The Lord made the rock a faucet. Because why? Because God's word went forth. When God's word goes forth, something's got to move. It may be designed for that, but God can make it designed for this. God knows what you have need of. God said, I will supply what? Your heavenly need, what? According to his and glory. Whatever you need from God, God said it's already done. I can think what I need. You can think what you need. But what we need is God. Because when we got God and God's got us, everything's going to be taken care of. God said, I am your Jehovah Jireh. I am your provider. God said, not today, but tomorrow too. And the next day, whatever you need, God said, I got it. I got one more thing and I'm almost done. Just like God made the rock a faucet, he can make your TV an ATM machine. God can just let money come out of it if you want to. I'm telling you, I believe him just like that. I need you to believe him just like that. Whatever you need, God is going to provide. I remember one time I went back and I looked and I had so much money. I went back and looked again and God doubled it. I'm telling you, I'm a witness. I so God double what I had. God said, I'm going to double and triple what you got. So you just got to hold on to God. God know what you have need of. And God said, I'm never late. I don't care what time it is. I am never late. I am always on time. And I'm going to say this last thing. There was one man. He had to pay a bill or whatever you want to call it. And the Lord told him to go fishing. It may not sound right, but God told him to go fishing. It's in the book of Matthew. It's written. The Matthew chapter 17, verse 27, told the man to go fishing, put the hook on it and throw the hook in the water. Pick up the first fish, open the fish mouth. And what was in the fish mouth? Money. What he needed 
was in the fish's mouth. It may not sound right. It's in the word. Read it. Matthew chapter 17, verse 27. It's in the word. Whatever you need. God, God said, I got it for you. Don't worry what it sounds like or what it looks like. If God tell you to go, you just go. Why? Because your provision is in your obedience. When you obey God, there's, there's going to be overflow. I don't care what it is. Look like now, it's going to be overflow. God bless you tonight. Don't you go by what it looked like. If God say it, it's already done. God's promise has already it been written. Be encouraged tonight. Know that it's already done. Know that God has everything that he has with your name on it. Just hold on in Jesus name. God bless you and we love you.